Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Legends of Tomorrow, season number 3, episode number 18. The Good, The Bad, and The Cutly. This episode is directed by um, Dermot Downs. And here we have the final battle between the Legends and Mollocks. Things go down. People from, the, people from their past come back. Jefferson's back. Fantastic. Even got Helena Troy. And you can see her, see her in action. From a training she got from Themyscira. Fantastic. And we got let me also get Jonah Hex. He, 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 he reunite with him. And you said to see him in action again. And also have so much somewhat of a little bit of a like, fling or a crush. Not a fling really. Uh a, a moment with was um with um was 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 Zori. It was cute, it was a cute moment. No, overall I really enjoyed this episode a whole lot. I got to see the it, it was fun, it was a little silly. The fight with Mollus was a little bit anticlimactic. I mean, I thought you were going to, I thought it'd be more to it. All the build up for Mollus that he's finally coming and he's going to be there, and they finally got this big epic fight. And even though I didn't enjoy it, it was fun to watch. It was a little silly because you actually see exactly what form they took to take down this monster. It just seemed like he should have put up more of a fight than that. He got he like he, like he went down so much so easily that it was just huh. All that build up for that like this well. Guess so, and like like I said, Jefferson's back on this episode. He he came back for this one episode. Fantastic, great, but again, he didn't really do much on the show to really um, do. It. I mean, he didn't do much on the show. So so that just well, it's nice to see him. I, I'm glad he came back, but he didn't really do anything to really justify him being back. So that just. And I, it's, not, it's not like they needed him, so yay, I guess. But it did have a lot of cool moments in here that I really did like to see. I mean, you got to see um, Ray and Damian Dark working together. Weird combination, but it, it, it actually worked on the screen. And them saving Nora, a.k.a., well, Brandon Roth's wife. His wife, saying his wife. So... Yeah, so you, that was that was a nice moment there, and seeing Damian Dark actually put aside all the, his evil ways to save his daughter, who he actually does love and care for, and I was I, that was great. I, I did enjoy that, and then and then watching the, this the team come together with their totems to take a from Captain the Planet, also great. I enjoyed that too. I mean, had a lot of cool action moments in there, a lot of cool fight scenes. Everybody had their little moments to shine for a little bit. And I really didn't. I I enjoyed all that. It's just that the way it ended with Mollux was not what I was expecting. I mean, it was fun to watch, but it was so it was so quick and so easily. I just, huh, well, I guess he wasn't as powerful as we thought he was or something. I don't know. Because it, 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 cause it, it took a little bit of an homage to go, the Ghostbusters in this episode. Because you had to think of, you had to think of a, a form to take, to take down a Mollux. And then that... Nate thought of something really silly, and that, that one thought spread through all of them, and then therefore, well, you get what you get. I mean, it was fun to watch. It was, it was like I said, silly. This, this show has a way of bringing in the serious and with the silly and kind of balances it out. And so cause it, it doesn't take itself too seriously, so you can't, so, so you're having fun when you're watching it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it is, it's still fun to watch. And I thought the voice acting from um, um, John Noble, who plays Mollus, was great. I even enjoyed him on, on the scene when he's playing. He's playing himself as the, um, doing the voice of the of the demon who he actually doing the voice. Of. It was just weird. It was very very meta. But I really did enjoy. It. Like I said, I'm in, I'm in, I, I have enjoyed everything, and I got to see. And you also got to see that um, um certain people like. Reunite, like between like the relationship between um Sarah and um and Ava. Great. Um, you got to see uh, you got to see how things worked out between Nate and Amaya, which it went exactly how it's supposed to go, which was which was great. I enjoyed that. I mean, this, this episode had a lot of cool moments in it. And this, this this had some moments in it that I thought was like, well, it was fun to like it was fun to see Jefferson. But it didn't really lead to anything or make anything happen that was important to the show. So it was, just, it was nice to see him, but he didn't do anything, really. And then Malik's, even that, that whole build-up, 
Because you see, I see the, thing, the way they build them up, I was expecting somebody so powerful that they had to do something. But, oh well. I mean, it was something, but. Yeah. So overall, did I hate this episode? No. I had fun watching it. It just didn't. The ending was just wasn't as strong for me. But it does lead to something something more coming 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 later on. It looks like looks like they go, they looks like this this, this series is gonna go take the a more supernatural dark tone. Looking forward to seeing that. Cause we've seen everything else, so why not the supernatural? So we gonna it's gonna look like we're gonna explore more of that world. It's gonna be very interesting. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Legends of Tomorrow. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So like I always say, also give my channel a big old like thumbs up. Bam. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Also hit the little bell to bottom so you get notified every time I make a video. So like I always say, in my dreams in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Uh, peoples.